Welcome to the vlogs! What is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the street and they say to me, Hey, aren't you? And I say, Yes, it's me, too. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby! Anyways, I feel like I'm almost like a news anchor when I sit here in front of you, in front of the camera. Tonight, reporting on... <laughs> Uh, um, hi guys, as you can tell, I'm in quite a good mood, um, not because of the delivery that I just received, but it's my dad's birthday today. Um, if I tell you the human being my father is, I, I could not, this vlog would be an hour. Um, I've learned everything that makes me a good human being for my father. My dad has no bad bone in his body. He is the kindest, most nicest human being. Um, I give him such a hard time, but I, God bless me with the most incredible father in the world. So um, yeah, I am just very, very blessed. And, and yeah, so today I got invited by Uko Restaurant um, to lunch, and I thought, you know what, let me celebrate my father on their budget. <laughs> um, so, I am taking him to Uko. I think it should be fun, it'll be lovely to see him. Um, Joburg is very bright and sunny. Um, it's been up and down, winter has been very very weird well it's autumn i don't even know what the seasons are but it's it's chilly ish especially in the mornings and the evenings but um it's still all good uh, i'm gonna open up this package on my instagram but i'll show you guys afterwards um when i've opened it up um if you're not following me on instagram why what are you waiting for what are you waiting for? Yes, it's me, Tools, on Instagram. Um, my mom is still in the United States at the moment. I don't know if I told you guys, but uh, she's there visiting my sister. And yeah, so that's great. Um, what else can I tell you? Nothing much for now. <laughs> but um, yeah, welcome to the vlogs. Okay, so the delivery is from E. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here. It's actually very cool and fun and amazing. And um, it's to celebrate the new uh, season, season seven of Botched. I can't believe it's already seven seasons. I, th that, that show freaks me out. It freaks me out. I can't watch it. Anyways, uh, let me show you what's inside. I got this game called Operation, which is quite cute and amazing. Um, so, which is, I've never ever heard of this, but you have to, you, when you press the button, it's like buzzes. <laughs> um, then a linen bathrobe, obviously some information on um, the show, some biscuits, which are so cute, which are lips and a, a new nose, <laughs> surgical syringe. And the most amazing part is the Ordinary. Um, it's these products that I've heard of, um, which I've been dying to try, So, which is amazing. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how these products go. You know what? For me, if you, you can send me anything and I will get excited for it. Like, honestly, I do find it very mm -hmm. loving and sweet and amazing and great. And I mean, yes, it's for you know, promotion and PR. But I mean, to send me something and unbox it, I, I just, I really, really do appreciate it. And you know, so it's obvious what my love language is, is gifting. <laughs> um, anyways, but um, it's about to be load shedding here. Mm, I feel like a biscuit. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be at 12 o'clock and lunch is at one. So I might as well get ready to go, right? Yeah. You guys, this bathrobe is giving. Ooh, it's giving luxury. It's giving luxurious. Girl. 
Oh! Uh, the master of the home will now see you. Luxuriating. Mmm! It's so cuddly and warm and oh! Oh, honey! Oh, this is so good. I could stay in this all day. <laughs> I understand why people love bathrobes. Um, I've ha I had one growing up, but now I have an adult one. You know what? Mm. I think that's the same for me. What, your lunch and dinner? This? Yeah. Because I also don't eat that much, you know? Mm -mm. Like, I I have one meal at most. Yeah, me too. And I don't miss... I don't feel hungry. I eat when I eat. Same. I think, yeah, I'm going to take the rest of this takeaway. We also had those starters. Yeah. So, which is... We filled you up. Mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't fill you up. You know, it fills you up. I said up too close. Fills you up what? What does that mean? Like it picks up on you. <laughs> and and you're full. But you don't you don't Oh uh, right. You don't realize it while right. you are at it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's only once if you were to 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 at the end sit back and think about what you've eaten, only then do you realize. Oh yeah, like I I've eaten a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Surreptitiously. Not English. Old Clearly English. English. Clearly so. How old are you turning? How old did you turn, brother? Yeah. Here you go. Hey. You are... 68. 68. We don't look 68. I think that's a compliment. Thank you. It is a compliment. I love Mentos. 
Oh, good. She did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moses is on his phone, not speaking to me. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> saying happy birthday to yourself? Thank you. Thank you. Did you have a good time? I had a fantastic time. How was your lunch? That's good. It's fine. I'm sitting here while my dad is speaking to my mother on WhatsApp. New York. I don't exist right now. Fine. It's his birthday. We'll give him a break. And that's a wrap on lunch with my father. Oh, it's actually really nice and moody. Um, but I'm in the car park, but <laughs> that's great, right? <laughs> um, anyways, so I have a meeting, a Zoom meeting later. So I need to prepare for that. Oh. Right, lunch at Uko was actually fantastic. Um, I had the chicken as you saw, and it was good. Um, yeah, I mean, I know it's your fav's favorite place, um, but the, yeah, the service is really great. I will definitely say that. Um, they're really good with service. Um, not, I still, I didn't try the sushi again. Um, my dad enjoyed his food. He loved his salmon and his cheesecake. He ordered cheesecake and he forgot that he ordered it. <laughs> Woo, Moses, Moses, Moses. Um, but yeah. Oh, um, what else did I want to say to you? Oh, the conversation with my dad was also just fantastic. Um, it was... Uh, you know, like, and we're so different, um, him and I, um, <laughs> as, as people fundamentally and like our interests, etc. Uh, but, you know, it's interesting uh, how we are able to, you know, still have communication and interest in certain parts of his life and my life, etc. So, uh, but it was, it was lovely to celebrate my dad on his special day. So please comment down below happy birthday papa tools happy birthday daddy moses or whatever you want to say just to wish him happy birthday so that if he does watch this then he can go read the awesome comments that you guys always leave me i was reading comments um yesterday and today this morning you guys leave the best comments I, I love them. It, it really, really warms my heart and makes me so happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I do, I will be doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm on 1,600 about now. So at the moment I hit 2,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. Anyways, I need to get ready for this meeting now at 5. And I'll chat to you later. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Thanks. You can come inside. Thank you. Nice. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. How are you doing, love? I'm good. I, I'm, I'm doing super well. Um, yeah, just a busy, busy, busy day. It was been my dad's birthday, so I went, I took him out for lunch. And yeah, it's been great. Okay, my meeting is now done. And I just did an unboxing of the Bombay Sapphire that got delivered just before my meeting. Um, yeah, let me show you. So I received a bottle of Bombay gin, which is amazing. All I need to do, do is get tonic. And this is Bombay Bramble, uh, which is blackberry and raspberry flavored. I don't, I wonder if this has the same botanicals as Bombay. I need to look up at this, look this up. Um, and look at how cute these coasters are. So today is World Creativity Day and Bombay, are they, are they, yeah. 
They're so cute. I really love these. Um, so well, today is World Creativity Day. And yeah, they are gifting me with um, this, these bottles. Sorry, I cannot speak. I don't know what's going on. Um, so yeah, it was, and there's a recipe of how to make uh, orange and ginger. Gin and tonic twist. Fun. I actually do have tonic. And they also gave uh, me ginger ale. But I don't feel like gin right now. Maybe on the weekend. Yeah. Chilled vibes. You know, gin and tonic is like outside sun. You know, sundowners. Oh, yes. Bombay and tonic. Anyways, yeah, so sweet of uh, Bombay Sapphire. It's amazing. I am going to watch the second episode of The Kardashians on Hulu today, tonight. Yeah, so let me get into something comfortable, maybe even that bathrobe. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's get comfy. Mm. So guess who forgot that there was load shedding? completely forgot so annoyed you guys at least i've got podcasts to listen to so and watch so i'll do that gown <laughs> i mean it's giving luxuriating it's giving luxurious um i love it so much thank you so much e i've decided that i'm going to take a break from social media just for this morning <laughs> clickbait i got you um no, the reason being is that it's RuPaul's Drag Race finale on it's it's happened and it aired last night in the United States. So just for this morning, before I watch it, I'm gonna stay off social media because there's nothing worse than a spoiler. Honestly, there's nothing worse than a spoiler. It happened to me with one of the previous seasons, I don't even know who won. And I was so angry. I was livid. Just a little scroll through Twitter and then all of a sudden there you see. Congratulations, whatever, and all this person. I mean, yes, the news is out and I should be watching it immediately. So, but this way, I'm going to stay off socials until I watch it. Easy. I need to accommodate for April holidays because there are so many public holidays and holidays during the month of April. Firstly, it's Easter. Next week, it's Freedom Day. And the 1st of May is um, Workers' Day here in South Africa. I mean, that is my mom made the right decision to leave, <laughs> to go to New York for this month. Um, yeah, I mean, I could have done the same thing, but uh, yeah, it, it, that just didn't work out. I, I, I opted out of that. Um, and well, I'll tell you that because I'd rather pay off my credit cards, etc., pay off my debts, and then when I go to New York, it's not like I'm in debt, I have credit cards to pay off, and I'm still spending money in New York City. No, I'd rather use that money to pay off my credit cards, and that's sorted. So yeah, I, I do want to, next year, A, be in Coachella, putting it out there into the world, Baruch Hashem, Inshallah, that 
I am at Coachella next year. That's I really, really want to do it. Um, and it's not even because of the music at this point. It's just the experience. I really want to uh, go for the experience. You know, I had Beachella tickets. Yes, it's the biggest regret and like disappointment in my life. I had tickets to Beachella. They arrived here. They got here. And when my schedule came about and budget and everything and, 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 it just didn't work out for me to go. It was going to be expensive and I was going to go alone. So it was just like not, um, yeah, it just didn't work out. I am very, very upset about that, but at least we get it on Netflix and we get to watch Beyonce whenever we like with great lighting and great sound. So yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, for going forward, I don't want to, I, I don't want to be here in April, <laughs> the end of April, like Easter time. Um, and yes, and I do love, uh, European holiday in end of June, no, end of July, you know, early August. I do love that moment for me. I love that for me, um, which would be amazing. And yeah, December holidays also. No ways. And don't tell me about Cape Town. I, I, no, not, I will not do Cape Town in December for a long time. I, I doubt I'll do it. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, but yeah, where I'm not going anywhere this year. We have to save up for it. And you know me, I don't want to skimp on things. Why? Why do I like things so much? Why can't I just be a simple, like enjoy the simple things in life? But no, I have to be ex extra and ex you know. All that and more. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> I'm rambling. Let me go watch RuPaul's Drag Race and see who wins. I feel that Willow will win, but I wouldn't mind. For me, who I want to win is either Lady Camden or Willow. So let's go watch. I would like to, to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could So you guys, I was actually thinking as a name for our little community, our family here, should we call us the T-Squad? What do you think? I actually really love that. Um, I really, really love that name. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because it's very much giving our family names. I love it. Imagine the merch. Imagine all the cute little things that we'll do. And it's also a play on words with spilling the tea, my name. Let me know what you think. Okay, let me, um, this is gonna make noise so I can't speak over this. So let me shave and put on a little bit of a time lapse. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty clean shaven right now. Maybe we'll just do a little proper shave. Um. Yeah, so tonight, no, today rather, I have my friends, Lawrence and Albertus's um, bachelor's uh, bachelor party. And I think it's gonna be so much fun. Um, they live in London at the moment, but they used to live here and they're getting married next week. So, which is going to be so fun and amazing. And I just love them so much, love them to bits. And, you know, Lawrence and I, we try to speak on FaceTime every week. Every Sunday, it's our 
FaceTime there and we, we, we chat. So I'm excited for um, the union next week. Um, love to see other people getting married. Will I get married? Hmm, who knows? Um, when it comes to, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> call me pessimistic, call me, I don't know. Maybe it's just not in the cards for me in this lifetime. And that's okay. Um, people put so much pressure on things that you have to do. You have to be in a relationship. You have to um, have children. You have to be pregnant at this time. Um, you have to be in this job and live in this place. You know what? Actually, you must just do whatever the fuck you want to do, to be honest. Um, and, you know, do your own thing. And follow your own path and destiny. Not, it's not in, in the cards for everyone. We're not, God didn't create us equally. Which is amazing. Because that makes us unique and we can find amazing things and special things sorry i had to keep quiet there <laughs> for a second we can find amazing things about each other because we're all special in our own way and our own right and not everyone has to follow all these things i you know good on you for whatever you do if you're single and you're not going to have kids and you don't plan on having kids, I would applaud that. You know? Uh, I, I really do. I feel that everyone has their own journey um, and you should... Basically what I'm saying is don't ever feel pressurized by society or by people in your life to do anything that you don't want to do. Um, you don't need to feel pressurized. Um, I, on the other hand, um, I don't feel, I've never felt pressurized by anything or anybody, um, to be in a relationship or anything like that. Um, I have, some of my friends are married, gay and straight, um, other friends are in relationships, you know, other friends are single, and that's great. We all have our own journey. Would I want a relationship? Sure, yeah, of course. Um, but it doesn't define me. It doesn't, it's not my end all and be all, you know? Companies is my first get ready with me and I'm like, preaching <laughs> this is definitely a chit chat get ready with me so i see what the girlies do you guys do makeup <laughs> i <laughs> shave <laughs> um yeah so you know growing up i had all these heteronormative ideas of marriage of relationships and I initially said, oh, I'm going to find the love of my life and we're going to be together for 10 years um, or was it five? Five years and then we get engaged after the fifth year and then after five years after that, we would uh, look at having kids too. In what? What? Are you, are you, cra are you crazy? I mean, you know... And that was society painting this picture in my head that made me think that this is what I should have and should do. Um, did I have any role models for this? No. Um, which is also another thing uh, that said, oh, this, this couple is amazing. I wish I had this, like something, a relationship like this, etc. I didn't have that growing up. Um, and that's what happens with when you're in the gay community. You don't have those beacons of relationships, etc. And, you know, it's, 
such is life. I think such is life and it's okay. Um, now, when I think about relationships, I'm like, hmm, okay. Could have a boyfriend. Um, and yeah, would, would it be an open relationship? It's something that um, I would have a discussion about, would not like it, but it's a reality of the world that I live in, you know? Um, and I don't, um, I'm not against it in any shape or form. I just don't feel like it would be for me. Um, but never say never, you know what I mean? So I might say this right now and I might change my mind when I'm in a relationship. And that goes with a lot of things and a lot of experiences, you know? Um, yeah. And right now, I don't want kids. I, I'm literally, literally adamant that I don't, do not want kids. Kids are not in my future. I find children to be a beautiful blessing. I think children in your life are amazing. I have the most amazing, beautiful kids around me and for my friends and my family. I don't um, feel a desire right now to have kids. I know that I would be an incredible father. I know that for, 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 for a fact. But hey, kids are expensive. Have you seen the prices of school fees? <laughs> that alone is contraception. That, honey, alone is contraception. So, but yeah, I'm, and also, it's not like I can have sex with my partner and have kids. It's a whole different ball game when you're gay. So, um, so, yeah, kids definitely not in my future for now. Um, yeah, marriage, if I find the right person and, um, you know, it's someone that I think that I could ultimately spend a good chunk of time with. Like, can't expect also everyone to have everything, you know, um, and last forever. Maybe I'm jaded. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So, but I am going on dates. I don't mind going on dates with people. That's fun. Um, anyways, I'll shoot your ear off. Let me know what you think. I would love to ha open this conversation and hear what you guys think about um, marriage. And it doesn't have to be gay marriage or anything. It could just marriage in general. Um, I want to open up the comment section and I want to hear your guys' thoughts and your feelings about your, your A, pressures in society and with your friends, what you feel there, and B, um, in terms of marriage and kids, is it in your cards? Are you married? What do you think? Do you feel like your partner is your forever partner? Um, and it's all right to say, yeah, we're having a good time now and we might be married now, but life happens and we might not be married in the next five years. I, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm not, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. Maybe I'm just trying to be pragmatic. Anyways, <laughs> let me finish getting ready for this bachelor's. Every time we go dancing, I see his straying eyes. Give him two.
Dávajú no Bratislavs, aby sa kýčil ty. I know it's just the start, but I want to say thank you for our grooms parties that arranged this amazing bachelors. I don't think we could have organized this better and we can organize, but you guys did an incredible job. We'll see by eight and this is just the beginning. Yeah. Thank you! Thank you. Yay! Yeah. And I am back home from Lawrence and Albertus's bachelor's party. It was so much fun. I had a great time. Oh, I really, really do adore those boys. I think they, they are just made for each other. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited for next week. Um, I ran into a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. So, um, and I'll be seeing them next weekend, which is exciting. Um, but it was so nice to have a little bit of a social interaction with everybody prior to meet, uh, prior to the wedding next weekend. Um, and I did not watch RuPaul's Drag Race before getting ready, but I will definitely do that right now. Um, but all in all, today was such a great time. I had a fantastic time with everybody there. Everyone is in such good spirits. That's what I love the most is that these sort of events always brings people and families together um, and it's it's really really a special time so um, I, I get why weddings are so much fun I get I get it I get it um, and all I gotta do is bring myself and my a game and my personality and that's what I do I try to always be a good guest with whatever I am doing and if I get invited to anything I'm making sure that I'm walking away with more friends that more friends than I came with and yeah anywho um, that is me for tonight um, if you want to watch the wedding vlog, you can click here. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one. But make sure you watch this wedding video uh, because it's a continuation from today. I love you so much. Good night, God bless.